Well, we're back, and we're here on the Benton McKay Trail, as you see the sign. And this is the way to the suspension bridge over the Dakota River. This is continuing from coming down that gravel road. There's maybe six, seven cars here today. Beautiful fall day here in North Georgia. So this is a short little hike down to the bridge here. And I'll show you what the whole attraction is. I can hear the water. It's down yonder. I have my former adventure boots on. And this is one of the reasons why I have those boots. When you get off the bike and you want to go for a little walk or a hike or something, um, you don't, you have no worries. You can walk anywhere you want in these boots and your feet aren't killing you. Now, there are other motocross boots that offer you, you know, much more protection, you might say. But, um, you don't want to walk in them. They're pretty much like bear traps. But these are like a good pair of hiking boots. People see me, they probably think I'm... I have no idea why I'm walking around in the woods with a motorcycle helmet on, but they don't realize we are making a video. Okay, we're almost down to the part here. People are having their own little photo shoot here. Taking a picture of Grandma. Hello. Okay. That is the Tacoa River. Right there. It's very, very low. Very low. Oh boy. And the bridge is right up here. I promise you, it's right here. You're probably saying, where are you taking us? I'm taking you to the bridge, don't you know? Okay. Ta -da. Here's the one end of the bridge. Doo -doo -doo. All right, ma'am. Can you ride your bike across this thing? Or? Oh, sure. <laughs> this is the swinging bridge. I'm taking a picture of myself. It's 
think this was constructed back in the 70s. The water is really clear. It's very shallow. It's deep in them. Deep has some, some deep pockets there, of course. I don't see anywhere that I would venture riding a bike over it. I take a bike on this bridge. I've been in places in Asia where you ride bikes over bridges like this that are a lot more shaky than this thing. I don't know how much you can see. You're probably getting a lot of sun glare looking that way. Like I said, the leaves are just about, at, they're a little bit past their peak. But it's still a beautiful spot. The sun's too much that way. Yeah, this is the Benton McKay Trail. Um, I think there's parts of this trail that come pretty close to ATP because Appalachian Trail is right around here itself. Springer Mountain's not far from here. I like getting down here. I really like shooting black and white, but with these colors, you have to shoot color. Okay, so now you've seen the swinging bridge. It says it was constructed in 1977 by the USDA Forest Service with the cooperation of the Georgia Appalachian Trail Club. There you go. Now you know. This would be a little tight on a bike, but because your handlebars would probably, if you had, if you had a smaller bike, like my XT would probably fit on this bridge fairly well. I don't know. I think the XR handlebars are a little bit wider, but you'd have to really aim dead nuts in the center, otherwise you'd be hitting your bar tips. Anyway, I guess we'll cut this video about short. Here we are on the swinging bridge. Just thought you might like to see this part. This is going to be a wrap for this video. We'll catch you later on the next one.